How's it going, guys? Gonna have a little bit of a different video for you today. Today, I kind of decided, what if we just take a step back? What if we don't talk about video games, just talk about, you know, my life, you know, boring stuff. So welcome to the first episode of Storytime with your boy, the main story man, Mansky. That's my new channel name now. So here's a story of how I almost saw a gigantic oil fire. So there I was, right? Just chilling, minding my own business. It was about like maybe it was either one or two a.m. I was doing, you know, normal stuff, mostly Minecraft or Fortnite. When out of nowhere, I receive a text on my phone from my girlfriend, as one might. I sure hope your girlfriend texts you if you have one. If not, you will find one, bro. And in that text, she just texts me. She's like, "Hey, babe, go step outside," and I'm like, "Yeah." Okay, now in the past, she's done these, like, romantic, you know, things. She'll be like, oh, babe, go step outside and look at the moon. Guess what? We're looking at the same moon. How romantic. Now, if you know me, I'm really the romantic type. Can't you tell? And me, being the romantic type, I play along with it. So first thought, I was thinking, eh, might be a romantic thing. You know, go along with it. My second thought, I was thinking, maybe she showed up my house, you know, she's gonna come bring me a little, bring me a little surprise or something, you know, be like, what's up? So I casually ask her, which door should I go to, front or back door? She's like, doesn't matter. I'm like, okay, yeah, it's definitely the moon thing, right? We're doing the moon thing again. Cool. I step outside on the back patio, expecting to see the moon. I don't even see the moon anywhere, but I see this glowing orange haze off in the distance past the tree line. And I am like, what the heck is going on over there? What is that? What is that over there? I text her again. I'm like, what the heck is going on? And she's like, yeah, there's some like giant fire or something. I'm just like, giant what now? So somewhere off in the distance, there is some giant fire going on. And I can see a glowing orange haze from it. And I'm like, well, dang, it's the end of the world. Bye. Second thought I had was, I kind of want to check this out. So immediately after that, I go s put my shoes on, grab a jacket, get the car keys, and start heading towards the glowing orange haze, which seemed like a good idea at the time. But the thing was, I won't tell you the cities, but the orange haze kind of looked like it was close next to my nearby city. So I drive towards the city thinking, oh, dang, a factory's on fire or something. I want to see that. But the more I drove, the bigger that haze got. So I'm thinking, oh, it's just another mile. It's just another turn around the corner and it'll be there. But the more I drove, the bigger it got. And I never got near to it. So I'm like, well. And I knew every mile that I drove would be a mile I'd have to drive back home but the thing is i didn't know how far away it was so i was just thinking maybe it's this car and i just kept on getting closer and closer to the point that i crossed three cities i went past my home city went past the next city which then i ended up finding the fire in the third city i drove all the way got as far as i could and by the time I got to that third city, that glowing orange haze, it was lit up the entire sky, or at least half of it. And apparently what happened is there's like this um, oil plant or something. It exploded. Nobody was hurt. Apparently everyone in the town just heard a bang and then saw flames in the sky. I was like, that's awesome. Which I did notice, like, a lot of smoke and stuff, but I didn't see any flames. I wanted to see the flames, man. No pyro. So there I was, right? 2 a.m. I'm three cities away from my home city, trying to see this giant flame. I got as close as I could, bros. To the point that there was a police blockage on the road telling people to turn around. Which makes sense if there is a giant fire i wouldn't want citizens driving to it which a lot of them were like yours truly which made me so upset because i drove 30 minutes to try and see a giant fire at 2 a.m and i didn't get to see nothing i got to see orange haze in the horizon which was a pretty epic orange haze but oh well 
But I can tell you what, my girlfriend wasn't very happy when she found out that I was driving all night. <laughs> Considering sometimes I told her that I was too lazy to drive over and see her, she'll be like, Man, you can drive all the way to that other city to see a giant fire, but you won't come see me. That's exactly what she sounds like. Which, she doesn't watch my videos, so I can say whatever I want. Hi Katie, I know you're not watching, but if you are, I'll buy you a free lunch. Just comment down below, I love McKinley, Purple Heart. It's not gonna happen. She doesn't watch my videos. Nobody watches my videos. But anyways, that's kind of the rough story of how I almost saw a giant flames and oil and all that stuff, which would have been awesome to see. Which, I don't support giant flames. You know, it, it destroys stuff that we want, you know, forces like, I'm sure that oil plant like cost at least a couple bucks. Huge loss to that company. It's horrible, very tragic. But how often do you get to see those sort of things? You can't just like go make one. They don't just, I mean, sometimes they'll have like giant things that they'll purposely burn for festivals or whatnot. But the biggest flame I saw was a giant bonfire. So, so honestly, bros, I kind of just YOLO'd it. I was just like, you know what? I want to try to see it. If I don't see it, I'm getting less sleep. I had to wake up at 7 in the morning the next morning for work. That was a fun shift. But yeah, that was casual story time with your main story man, Mansky. If you guys like these kind of videos, let me know by smash liking the dislike button. I don't want any likes on this video. I want all dislikes. 10 dislikes and you'll get another story video. But shoot, I got a whole book of random stuff that I've done. I've driven through a tornado, shot a flaming arrow. I'm not kidding about that tornado, but stay tuned for that story. It was a weird day. Your boy has done it all, except for seeing giant flames. That'll be up on my bucket list. All right, if you guys know of any giant fiery things going on near me, hit me up. I want to see that. But anyways, guys, you have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.